Hi everyone, in this video we discuss advantages and disadvantages of Java. Before starts today's video, let us recall what have we discussed in previous video. What is Java? Who developed Java? History of Java? By the name Java and different versions of Java. After watching this video, you will be able to know is Java platform independent? What is portability? Is Java supports multithreading? Is Java architectural neutral? Why Java is slow compared to C? How many translators does Java use? Let us start today's topic advantages of Java. The primary objective of Java programming language creation was to make this language simple, system independent and secure programming language. These are the main goals to develop the programming language Java. Other than these main goals, there are so many excellent features in the Java which makes Java popular. These features of Java are also called Java buzzwords. Let us see these advantages. Simple, object oriented, system independent or platform independent, portability, interpreted, high performance, multi-threading, distributed, memory management, architectural neutral. So these are the main advantages of Java. Let us discuss these one by one. First one is simple. In what aspects can we say Java is simple? See the Java syntax is based on C++. So it is easier to learn the Java if programmer knows C or C++. Java has removed many complicated and rarely used topics or features like explicit pointers, operator overloading, etc. These makes Java simple. In Java, we have the concept of automatic memory management with the help of garbage collection concept. Whenever the unreferenced objects are there, they will be removed automatically with the help of the garbage collection. So this makes also Java simple. The burden on the programmer will be reduced. Next advantage is object oriented. Java is object oriented programming language. As it is object oriented, it uses class concept, object concepts and, and it supports all the OOPS features. The object means which has the physical existence in the world that and a class is a collection of objects of same behavior. It is a collection of the objects where the objects must have some common behavior, similar behaviors that is class. System independent or platform independent. First, let us understand what is platform. Platform is the hardware and software environment in which a program runs. In simple terms, what is the processor and the operating system you are using to execute a program? Those are called platform. Java is different from other languages like C, C++, etc. where C, C++ source code is compiled into platform specific instructions. For example, if you developed a C language code and executed that in X processor and Windows operating system, the compiled code that can be understood by the same processor and the same operating system only. If the compiled code is copied into the another operating system like Linux or Mac OS, those operating system cannot be understood this compiled code. That is the problem in C, C++. 
in java the java source code will be compiled by the java compiler it produces a bytecode generally a class file is generated in that class file we have the bytecode this bytecode is platform independent machine independent if you copied this bytecode into windows operating system or linux operating system or mac os operating system that will be executed without any errors where we must have the jvm in all other operating systems this nature is called platform independent in c c++ the generated code machine dependent but here the java bytecode is machine independent that is not dependent on that particular machine that can run on any machine that can be run on the machine with any operating system and any processor this is the meaning of platform independent portability if a program produces same result on every machine then the program is called portable java program is executed on every system which gives the same result because it is a system independent it doesn't depend on any system this system independence makes java portable java is interpreted also java programs are compiled and generates the byte code we have seen just now after that java uses interpreter to interpret the byte code in the jvm high performance the problem with interpreter inside the jvm is slow to overcome this jvm also use a compiler called jit compiler just in time compiler that jit enhances the speed of execution so in jvm interpreter and jit work together to run the java programs to enhance the speed of the execution it helps to improve the performance of java applications next multi threading let us try to know what is thread first suppose we have one program the program is being executed is called process and the smallest possible unit in that process is called thread we will discuss it in detail at the topic of multi threading as of now just try to understand basics of the multi threading to gain maximum cpu utilization multi threading is key component with help of multi threading we can use the cpu effectively we can run more than one thread at a time using the java whenever you are trying to run multi threads they share the common memory no need to allot the separate memory for each and every thread we can execute the program with a limited memory and multiple threads can run simultaneously so it helps to use the cpu effectively with this the performance of your application will be increased next distributed java has the mechanism sharing the data and programs among multiple computers the distributed nature of the java increases the performance and efficiency of the system see this suppose i have four computers and in the four computers we may use different processors and different memories let us assume they are connected through the network so here one computer system can share the data with other computer systems in the same network not only this direction in any direction one system can share the data and programs with all the remaining computer systems with help of this the execution will be faster one work can be distributed among the multiple systems for example if you want to do one task with help of one computer it takes some time but the same task if you want to do with help of four computer systems obviously that takes less time so that is what distributed in c or c++ programmer need to write the code for the implementation of the memory management but in java the jvm automatically manages the memory so whenever there is an object that doesn't refer any class needs to be dereferenced the jvm automatically removes them from the program 
we do not need to write any extra code for this. In this way, Java supports automatic memory management. Simply, any unused objects are there in your program that will be deleted from your program automatically by the JVM. For that, you no need to write any extra code. This is the nature of automatic memory management. Architecture neutral. Java is architecture neutral because the features of the Java doesn't depend on any particular architecture. For example, in C programming, integer data type occupies 2 bytes of the memory for 32 bit architecture and 4 bytes of memory for the 64 bit architecture. Depending on the architecture, the properties will vary. But coming to the Java, Java occupies 4 bytes of the memory for both 32 and 64 bit architectures because Java is architecture neutral. The features of the Java doesn't depend on any particular architecture. Let us see the disadvantages of Java also. First one is memory. This is the major problem with the Java. Java consumes more memory than compared to the C and C++. When compared to the C and C++ languages, Java is slower. Due to the additional work of the interpreter to convert the code into the machine language, Poor GUI, with the help of the Java, if you want to develop any GUI related applications, like if you want to develop buttons, labels, the facilities available in Java is poor. With the help of these facilities, to build a complex user interface is very difficult. There are many frameworks in Java for creating GUI like Swing, SWT, SWT stands for standard widget toolkit even though these frameworks are available these are not enough to build complex GUI applications if you take the other programming languages like python r c sharp dotnet etc they have better GUI builders next disadvantage is java is not a freeware if you see python is absolutely free coming to the java in the year 2019, Oracle announced that they will charge a fee for the commercial license of Java version 11 and the above versions. Even though the general purpose of the Java is still remains free for use, but for development and to access the all the features of the Java, we must pay the fee. So it is not a freeware. Check your knowledge what you learned from this video. Is Java platform independent? What is portability? Is Java supports multi-threading? Is Java architectural neutral? Why Java is slow compared to C? How many translators does Java use? If this video is useful to you, subscribe the channel and watch the videos. Like and share the videos. Thank you.